Hey everyone, I'm Morgan. And I'm Paul, and we are MTG North, and today is Monday, so Morgan, it is the weekly finance video. Let's begin with the numbered cards again. Yes, we talked about it last week, but... More but developments. Number sixty-nine has been found. The most important, <laughs> the most important one got found. That's right. You can no longer so, pull that yourself. And the guy is not selling it. Reports. No way. Are saying no way. So. Would you? I, well, I would never sell that. Never. And, well, I'm sure right. enough money would come along and say, "Hey, five thousand U.S. or more sold." And see you sell it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I because people. I don't know. We're getting mixed reviews on how well this is going to sell in the long term. A lot of people seem to think it'll go up. It's possible. But five years from now, there could be 10,000 numbered cards. Way know, better than this year. Yes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like like I said to you, uh, when they want to start numbering stuff like Jason the Mind Sculptor in different art or... Uh, you know, it'll be better, but there's no distinguishing marks about Viscera Seer either. You just have to know that it was the first printed numbered card. Right? Yep, and you'll know it's going to be in the history. It's going to be in the uh, M Magic the Gathering libraries, the yeah websites you can check out to see, you know, about things. But yeah, it's obviously cool. It's the, the first one. Uh, the other thing is, it's not a misprint. No. No. People keep calling it a misprint because it's, it's reversed art. It's, it's not a misprint. It was it's intentionally printed like yeah. that. Oops, we misprinted 100 of these and numbered them. Yeah. <laughs> also, this week we found out you can get the foil viscous ears in the non-foil secret layers, which makes them harder to pull. Twice, like roughly twice as hard, right? Yeah, because so now you have all of the non-foil ones and all the foil ones that are coming out of as well. Yes. And it's not a non-foil viscous Visser, ear no. backwards. It's the foil ones. There's 100 of that card printed and they've split it up between all of the Phyrexian yeah uh, yeah that layer, just came out right? as we we were super close to buying a kit to open on channel yeah but now that the odds are literally almost twice as bad as they originally were and they were originally bad yeah uh, we're sorry because we're that secret layer is not for us no. we'll discuss this in another video so do you think it'd be good to buy and keep sealed um okay because a lot of those kits are going to get open right? here's your risk if all hundred of those cards get found and they're on, it's it's public knowledge that they all get found. Ooh. Speaking from hockey card experience, that's really really hard to track. Yeah, it, it is, is doable. It but is. Yeah. That's but with social media these days. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no. Um, back when Connor McDavid was a rookie, right? Yep. He had ninety nine of his rookie cards printed. Right. Yeah. Leave a comment. Tell us what you think. We'll keep talking about the secret layers. Uh, Secret I, layers, Morgan, another super bundle. I do like that mischief one. That's cool. Now, something to be said about it. I don't like how that card has the peeling front and the planes, other artwork. The plain golf course. You know that thing that peels off is never going to lay down flat again, ever. Once you peel it once, it's... <laughs> <laughs> and that's just giving me anxiety, uh, thinking about it. And then I have this card that peels that I never want to peel. I think that was dumb. Just my personal opinion. It's supposed to be fun. Man. Although I do like the artwork on um, Swords to Plowshares. Uh, Blood Moon looks really cool. Uh, Grim Tutor. That's a fantastic looking, looking yeah. card. So, you know, that that one I, I do like. Um, Fibble Tip the Lost. That's really cool, too. This is one of my... I got two favorite kits, and that's definitely one of them, right? Yeah, the yeah. Where's Waldo? Where's Waldo of it? That's... And... and uh, Maybe that's just me, and maybe it's not speaking to anybody else who is not from my age group, because uh, Where's Waldo was a cool kid's book. Uh, when kids, I don't know if they're still making Where's Waldo. Do you know, Paul? I don't know. But uh, it would be cool if you could get that made into a play mat, right? That's oh, what I was I'd rather whole, have a play mat of that than the, the whole four thing. cards. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so that would look cool. Uh, the Pixelated Snowlands, great. Those look good. Uh, the Dracula Lands, mm -hmm. that's some good art. Lands do better than I thought they did in Secret Layers, like the Godzilla lands. Yes. Have gone up slowly in price. Yep. Because and the Dracula ones are cool too. Yeah. The, uh, yeah, the Dracula ones are cool. And they got another um, three card Dracula set, all full art, different things. Remember, they were pretty good cards. Exquisite Blood. Yeah. Usually they release kind of a further extension. I was just keeping in line with the recent set that got released, right? Set theme. Yeah. yeah they usually right. release an extension of that in so, Secret Layers. And that was pretty cool. That was cool, but the man, you the pixel snow lands you just touched on for a second. Those are I think that's my favorite drop this time. Yeah. They're lands, you can play them in any jack. It looks like a little windows. Yeah, they look neat from like Locks. like you know, like your three eighty six, your four eighty six. Yeah. Before graphics on a computer were good. So those are good. What didn't you like, Morgan? <laughs> what didn't I oh, oh 
I'm sorry, Cro <laughs> Crocodile Jackson. Those are <laughs> not for me. That is not a secret layer for yeah. me. Yeah. I'm sure it'll appeal to some people. But it probably not will. us. <laughs> not not us. Uh, and there's one. There was what one from a TV show, Arcane something or other. Uh yeah, that's on Netflix or something. That I just don't know anything about it. So that again, that one is not for me. I I don't like that one. Um, and again, you know, secret layers. You either buy them, keep sealed. You open them up, you use the cards. So you know, yeah. to me, you got to have a use. Yeah. For some of these cards. So do you have a use for the entire commander deck that they're releasing as a secret layer? Heads I win, tails you lose. No, and I hope that deck is fantastic at fixing the coin flips. In your it will favor, be, right? yeah, for sure. It has to be, otherwise it's not going to be a competitive deck relying on coin flips for a, uh, a win. Well, fixing it, Frenetic of Free this week. Oh, yeah. From Mirage, went up like crazy. Infinite coin flips. It is a reserve list card. And people knew about it in coin flip decks before this, but obviously they can't reprint the reserve list card in that new deck. So you got a you got a card called Chance Encounter from Modern Horizons Two. It might be from an Urza's block too. Uh, yeah, it'll be the, the card name else. sounds familiar. Yeah. Um. So you, every time you flip a coin, you put a luck counter on Chance Encounter, and your during your upkeep, if there's ten or more luck counters, you win the game. You win. So. There's a combo with Frenetic free where you can get unlimited or uh, yeah unlimited coin flips, infinite coin flips, and then obviously that's going to be a win, I think. So uh, <laughs> easy victory. <laughs> yeah, you know, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Frenetic feats from Mirage, also reserve list card, um, and it was what a couple of bucks before. It was this fourteen happened. before because it was played. This is yeah. This was a commander deck already, right? Right, but when you go back wow. before Commander, yeah, that was a fifty cent reserve oh, yeah, list yeah, card that people were like, "Oh my God, it's gonna be fifty cents." So forever. check your old bulk bins. <laughs> yeah, it's Mirage. All right, moving on to our favorite thing of the week, Morgan, mm. the eBay top five. We do love eBay top five. It was a little slower. I don't know if anybody else notices this, but the week or two before a new set comes out, everything's slower, yep. right? eBay. And you got a couple more things happening, Paul. You got Christmas coming up, so people are probably not spending Ooh. as much money. Black Friday as well. Black Friday, so you know the money's going elsewhere. It's not going into the collectibles right now. Um, so it was a little lower. We'll start at number five. BGS eight point five Mox Emerald. Ooh, gorgeous. It's nice. It's not. It's you know it's a respectable grade. Nothing wrong with it. Nope. Seventy four hundred dollars U.S. And it's a Mox. It's pretty nice. Uh, moving on to number four. Uh, Kid Icarus is back again. He sold a Chaos Orb in our previous week. This week he sold another one for 8200 It has pen indentations, Morgan, but Ouch. still. It's an Alpha Chaos Orb. Yep. Usually nice card. it's bent or bad corners, hmm, but this well. one it's got the pen indentation. <laughs> uh, now this is where it gets a little interesting. Uh, number three, a sealed box of revised went for 9500 US. I got some comments because... Uh, if you go back to our uh, another one of our weekly finance videos, it's about a month ago. About a month ago, a sealed box of revised sold for twelve thousand dollars. Twelve thousand. Yep, twelve grand U.S. Twelve grand U.S. So now, uh, a fast forward a few months now, you got a revised box selling on eBay for ninety five hundred dollars at auction. Real bids, right? dude. That's a two thousand five hundred dollar difference in a few months. Not sure if somebody's got a good deal. Uh, if there wasn't as many shoppers for that particular revised box. Uh, they seem to be in about the same condition, I would say. Yeah, Paul? Oh, yeah. They're both good. I would so, buy either of them myself. But. Um, that's pretty, that's quite a price drop in just a few months on that box, I think. Agreed. That's crazy. That's why yep. I don't, you know, FOMO, fear of missing out, right? It's such a big thing. Absolutely. Maybe it could have drove up that first auction. We'll never know. Uh, number two, uh, 9,600 US, Morgan, the Saga Tournament Pack. Ooh. Urza Saga. Guy's Cradle. Yeah. It's still sealed. It's beautiful. <laughs> so you can open up a, a cradle out of that pack. So what would you rather have? The revised box or the Saga Tournament pack? Because they were only $100 off. Okay, so the Saga Tournament pack is just a starter deck. comes with three rares. Yeah. I would much rather have the revised box. Moi OC. Dual lands, Wheel of Fortune. Uh, yeah, I mean, it says it all. What do you got? Okay, don't get me wrong. Urza Saga has a lot of good cards in it. But you get three rares, I believe. Yeah, I think you're right. Uh, three rares, so... And if you don't hit any good rares, boo. Which one's cooler to look at? Revised. <laughs> it's revised all the way. Yeah. I agree. All right, number one. Uh, Kid Icarus, yet again. He's like the champ, man, of over, MTG sales on eBay. Over 300,000 positive feedback. 
at thirteen thousand one hundred one U.S. dollars, another unlimited black lotus. Of course, lotus takes number one spot again. And uh, it's no not graded, was it? No, not no. graded. It's in decent shape. Yep. There you go. Thirteen G's U.S. If you're looking for a decent unlimited lotus right now. Paul, I think a lotus is sold every week in our top five. Yep, it's always it's always up there. So. It's not always number one though. No, it's so not. Stay tuned. We'll see what's up next week. But it's a staple, obviously. There's, I've already, I already know one of the things. It's gonna be a top five next week. It's gonna be good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. If thanks. you're new around here, hit that sub button. Leave a thumbs up. I don't think you can leave a dislike anymore. Well, you can. You just can't see the count. Thanks, YouTube. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> see ya. See you guys.